What's going on YouTube? I think I'm going to upload this one probably around the New Year's. This is Aquara. We are going to say RIP. R.I.P. There's nothing left. I'm just taking a loss on this. Uh, we're going to be blazing through five cases of Aquara. Uh, long story short, there's nothing you can do. Uh, nobody's buying it. And I'm not selling the booster boxes for what, $40 now on eBay. So we're just going to blaze through all of this and you know what, <laughs> it definitely didn't do so well. I thought it would do a lot better, um, but unfortunately it did not. So we're going to see if we can pull out one of those nice and crazy cards that are very big. Okay, we got the Jun, uh, Junsoku, alright that's probably nothing. And again, this is a, uh, shoot man, I don't know what to tell you, let's just crack some stuff open. Horrible, horrible, horrible. Ah, uh, don't care, don't care, don't care. We were just go we'll collect all the hollow foils and hopefully I can sell them. I mean, that's the only thing I could say. Uh, uh, we get any type of hollow foils, hopefully, somebody will buy it. We're just gonna try to minimize our loss. Well, I'm trying to minimize the loss, and it doesn't even matter. Uh, if there's a specific card you want out of here, uh, I'm going to try to post this stuff on eBay. Um, there's supposed to be some unique type of hits in this, but um, I don't know. So basically a serialized card, ancient card, secret rare type, or generational. I think those are the big ones, but unfortunately, let's just be real about it. There's nothing you can do. There's just nothing you can do with this thing. I didn't even want to take it with me uh, to sack anime. I, I'm just going to be over it. Nice little foil right there. Um, I think these are like two bucks each. So um, again, we're just hoping, or I'm just hoping that I can minimize the big numbers on this. Um, yeah, just, there's nothing. Like once channel fireball freaking unloaded their stuff. That was a nice little card there. It was game over. Um, very much game over. Uh, art, card quality, that's okay. I mean, it's not the best looking card thing in the world, but... Uh, you know, nothing else to say on this Aquora. Uh, Divine Offering. Anybody want the bulk, we're gonna... It's like, the bulk is gonna be expensive to ship, so... Yeah, it'll probably be like $9.99 or $19.99 for all the Cora common and common bulk, no hollow foils. Um, yeah, I mean, I did good for a little bit. I sold a decent amount, the Valley of the Dam. Uh, I didn't sell a decent amount. I opened one up. I made, I sold it for about $1.90, so I took $1.50, so I was up a little bit. And then after that, nothing sold. And, and I, I, like I said, I'd rather just crack it open. And hopefully... Two dollars, and all of this would give me something. Maybe this would give me like five dollars. All the bulk. Um, Zedu's Blade Exiler. Ah, but yeah, the next probably the next big game that I'm actually gonna try out will be Grand Archive. Uh, yeah, but we are going monstrous on Yu-Gi-Oh. So this is the 25th anniversary one. We're gonna I'm gonna try to cut a deal right now. Um, as we approach the uh, 2023, 2023 in general is gonna look like a. I'm hoping it's gonna be a good year, but you know, you. Oh, we'll talk about that more later. Um, or maybe. Oh, I guess I'm gonna put this broken ice. I guess I'll put this video up a few days before New Year's and then the New Year's speech will have a nice conversation about what we're, what I'm doing, what I'm doing, again, we'll probably get into Grand Archive, uh, I know a couple of the guys there, or one of the guys there, Seth Zera, and you know, if he's all in, hopefully it's not that bad of a game, and hopefully uh, they don't do what they did with Channel Fireball like these guys did. Akai Haku Hako. Red Hako? Red bucket? Or red uh, something. Dragon 
retribution. Yeah, they do the whole thing with going to like a store and giving them exclusive, like very cheap treat, treat, uh, <laughs> cheap boosters. You know what? I'm out. I am 1000% out. Yeah, these guys thought they were going to be cool and do like anime art. Kyojin Akura. But uh, they don't. I mean, like I said, there's no, no hype around this particular card game. I just bought it, I thought it might implode or explode. Or, yeah, explode. It did implode. So, again, we'll probably have $5 of the value right here. Nothing good. Um, ooh, Magna Kiko. Alright. But again, we're probably going to go uh, into multiple different ranges here, as you guys will see here shortly. Uh, we got quick things. Videos are going to be all over the place. You know. God, this is taking forever. This is going to be... Oh, we got a nice little uh, Son of a Korra. Right, let's go. Let's go. I still got like four booster boxes left. Like my cost... Uh, my cost for this, that's why it's, it's pricey. That's why I don't... I'm not a fan of it. You know, the first edition of Korra is supposed to do really well. You know, I'm just like... I thought... I just thought I could take a, take a chance on it. But again, at forty dollars a booster box, I'd rather just crack it open and see if there's anything we can pull. A serialized card, something epic, just something. Ugh, Glacier Mountains. But if not, you know, break it. You guys tell me what you guys think of a core. They got like three sets coming. They got another set after this last set that just came out. And then the last set that just came out, he looked at the numbers. It is horrid. Like you, you're making zero dollars and you know, sometimes you want to do something with anime and stuff like that. It's just not going to ride. And these are freaking seven minute videos. Holy crap. Anything no? I want to say for, uh, oh, we got nothing good in this one. Okay. Yeah, we got a Citadel Guard. We just got two of these. So the, the pull, see the game in general, the pull rate is good. Like this type of... Oh, you're not, you're not guaranteed anything, but if you can't establish the baseline price for the horror of the first thing, like, you're just bound to fail. And I, I, a thousand percent, I think uh, this company may not ride the test of time, uh, especially with a so-called recession coming. We got a Akai. So I guess the other card that I did get was a very, very valuable card. But I did sell, like I said, I sold that for an insane amount. You know, we're just going to start opening these. Hold on. Just blaze through the whole thing. We'd probably do an edit cut there. Um, so let's just see what we get. Nothing. Okay, spirit token doki. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Uh, yeah, this if I just kept going, this uh, particular video will be very, very long. Div Divination spear. Golly. But you guys will see me a sack enemy. I'm going to sack enemy. We're gonna start. We're gonna start selling everything. End of eternity. Uh, you're gonna see the best values at Sack Anime. Um, the thing is that, like, what I don't like about Sack Anime, oh, Ancient Calling, is that everybody's very overpriced, in my opinion. I think, like, stuff like that, I don't think you should charge an insane amount of money. I think it should be below. Uh, I mean, people that go there, I don't know if they want to spend that uh, additional money. I, but I think that when you go to something like a Sack Anime or something like that, it's gotta be. Uh, a little bit less than market value. Old man's greed. And that's where I'm going to go to sack at. I'm going to just destroy people. Send Cole Ken. Um, meaning that my prices will be competitively, competitively priced compared to any vendor there. So all vendors that are going to sack anime that want to sell wise anime, Pokemon, stuff like that. We, I am going. Ooh, Magna Kage. I am going to war. I'm going there to just destroy the actual 
uh, oh, time reversal. Nice looking card. Um, meaning that I'm just going to be selling everything for a very, very good price. And we're just going to keep going. Alright, so basically, if you guys don't know, um, I will be a sack anime, we're gonna just make some prices ridiculously good. Some things are just gonna be ridiculously expensive because I just, my cost basis is very high. So you'll see some things over there, Pokemon Wise, um, and I think we'll have a singles Blood Moon. Alright, we're gonna have a singles binder, all that stuff, sac Sacramento anime, you guys wanna come check me out, go over there. We got a nice Divine Relic Shard, uh, yeah. So we're going to do a lot of that stuff here shortly in SAC Anime. Um, always remember, uh, we will be probably the best price out there. Ancient Tree. Uh, yeah. But if you guys don't know, I'm actually jumping into Final Fantasy for the next uh, Dark Relic Shark. The next, this set, the Resurgence with the Yuffie signature and the, uh, what is the next one with Clouds thing. So I am going to be a buyer at a lot of those. So hopefully we got another shard. <laughs> we just keep getting shards. Um, I'm going to be a buyer uh, and try to resell that product. Akai Han. This is a very, it's always around. Akai Han is very, very common now. Um, yeah, so I'm going to just go in there uh, with Final Fantasy. Just the next two set. Suri, Suriza and Encore. Um, yeah, so the next two sets I, I will have on the on the site, the Divine Nation Sphere, the Divine Nation Sphere, I will be going into uh, Final Fantasy because I would like the signatures. After that, if there's no real chase hit that I like, I will not be picking up that product. I'm just picking up the product with the stuff that I like. So just keep in mind that for Final Fantasy. I do want to get Opus 1 and Opus 11, the one with Tifa on the front cover. I am looking to pick those up at a decent value if I could find one. Um, I did, because I did have a lot of the Tifa, uh, Opus 11. There we go. So that's going to be something unique. So yeah, we're gonna, I'm gonna do Final Fantasy on those two, and if there's a chase, I'll buy probably like four or five cases, Magna Kage, uh, per set. And then we are going to Yu-Gi-Oh! 25th Anniversary, I like that. Uh, Justice of Kuzu. Um, it's just because Yu-Gi-Oh! 25th is definitely gonna be something that I like, because that's probably when I was buying it. I wish uh, they had the one with Fairy Injection Lily. Uh, Yoki Sokudo. Yeah, and I got I gotta take a look. They're, they're reprinting like quite a few of them, so that one I'm gonna buy a decent amount of while I'm calling. And uh, we're gonna finalize the price here shortly on that. But again, Final Fantasy the next two sets, and then we're going to uh, Power of Mind, and then we're going to probably go with uh, Yu-Gi-Oh, and probably just that those sets that are reprinting, Lost Atlantis. Um, I'm just hoping that they don't overprint it because I do like it. And we got an Awoken Dragon. That's something different from the Akai Hane. Alright, that's not bad. Hopefully we can make something uh, good out of that number. Gotta do some research. Same cool Ken. Yeah, I wanna see what these uh, crazy cards are looking like. Magna Fudo. And here we go. Next set. Now, if you're talking, oh, there we go, we got the shard. Now, if you're looking at One Piece, that thing's a monster. That, I've never seen a freaking card, uh, uh, trading card game implode like that in my life. That is a 100% a monster of a trading card game. Uh, the first set, 
Magna Kiko is a massive like I actually did a lot uh, of those and you're probably like oh how come you didn't sell it uh, you know what I got greedy I had to, I had to sell it my darn self I was greedy on that one one piece I uh, yeah I was greedy long story short I made a decent amount of money on that um, because you guys don't understand my margins on Weiss is around three th uh, sometimes two percent up to three and a half percent and that's what those margins are uh, normally uh, but one piece I think I triple my money on those no but double my money on one piece so yeah if you're like oh yes yeah, I, I want to buy some from you I, I'm just I was just gonna get greedy there's no way I don't like to rip people off because you know uh, it's just I don't know I don't like getting ripped off set of the old guard but in general that particular set yeah, I mean, I think I think selling those cases at a high premium was a ripoff. But uh, Glacier Mountain, you know what? That was greedy. That was thousand percent. I got greedy on one piece, you know, and that's that. That's what it is. Like you guys uh, have to understand. Like what I made with one piece, it takes me forever to actually make that kind of money. Um, I don't have a direct dealer for one piece, so I had to go through a third party, ask them to get the product. It was a whole hot mess, but yeah. power of the one piece is power of the one piece. So hopefully it's going to do good. I'll have round two and yeah, let's see what happens. All right, we're going to break this last second to the last case and we're going to break through uh, these cards here. Let's see what this box topper has. Oh, that's just blue. Akai. All right, it's like an evolving thing. Here we go. And then also, we're probably going to get into Japanese Pokemon, so you'll probably see Japanese Pokemon on the site. We're doing a whole refresh next year, Magna something something. Uh, we're doing a whole refresh on the site, um, like one of my buddies of mine just ke keeps nagging me I fix the site, Yariken. Uh, I'm not a website designer or anything, but you know, I'll try to make it as good as I can, modern. Like, you know, those crypto sites, Unaburu, Unaburu, alright. But yeah, the one piece is the one piece. Very powerful. Uh, electric shard. Alright, this is, like I said, this is a long one. Ah, rip to a Korra, ladies and gentlemen. Rip to a Korra. Almost, almost, almost. Start bidding. I'm hoping at least I get 10% back. <laughs> oh, what's this? Toketsu Hane. A Toketsu Hane. A different Hane. Okay. We got a different Hane. Let's see, anything else? Yeah, I guess these like main, main super card, Thousand Thunder Senko, are very difficult to pull. But there's no secondary, there's no real secondary market to say that these are worth XYZ amount, equivalents. So that's why I'm just like, alright. Let's, let's, oh, Beast Within. Let's cut our losses here. JP Pokemon it is, uh, I was listening to Alpha Investments video, Tripwire, Pokemon, 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 again, even I, even I was thinking Pokemon Strong, Thundercry, uh, and the reason is, like, when you look at YS's digression, we'll talk about that in a different video, Spear Bomb, uh, Magic's Decline, um, Pokemon in general just has, uh, just has a monster following, there's nothing you could do, you know, you, ooh, Jinro Kuzu, there's nothing you can do, so I have an insane amount of sealed product uh, when it comes down to uh, Pokemon. Uh, one day I'll show you guys, but I like Pokemon sealed over Weiss sealed uh, for some reason, Ocean Cry. And, you know, it does have to do with easier sell rate and all that stuff. Got a nice little Divine Relic Shard. But I think in general, um, Pokemon is strong. 
I like it. That's why I'm in it. Fire Relic Shard. And uh, we'll talk about like a lot of where the my money will be parked at. Is that a rare old man's greed? Uh, especially when it comes down to a lot of these uh, 2023 scenarios. And I've realized that this card game, I mean, it got the rarity, like how much you're going to pull properly. But, sheesh. Let's talk about pull rates after this one. But it's it looks good, but the pull rates are a little too tough for a non-cracking game. Alright, <laughs> it's just let's just be real. For a non-cracking game, it has insanely difficult pull rates. Alright, so I actually opened one full case, uh, we have not pulled anything great in one full case. So, let's start with the promo pack and then I'll just blaze right through the other ones, like the other, uh, like my edits. Boom! Moku, Moku is your card. Booster box, a rip to a Cora. Good try, but you know, I lost money big time on this one. Uh, it's not as worse as crypto, but I didn't, I did lose a lot. Divine Altar uh, for a trading card game. I can even sell one of these booster boxes. That's like, that's like ridiculous. Citadel. Golly, look at this. It's like it's good, but it's not good at the same time. You can't even get crap. Y Yumi Ro Yoshi. I wonder if there's like a set collector out here. I could probably collect and put all the sets in here because. <sighs> don't get too hot. Yeah, see, it, it just is. Yes. I, mean, I don't know. We'll look at the back of the next one. See what we got here. We got something good. We didn't pull nothing great in this. Oh, nice little water relic shard. Yeah, look at this. You get nothing good for a very, very long time. Sub Zero. That's a nice new card. I wonder if there's like if I get make maybe make a set out of this and try it spirit token and see if that. All right, the thing was like it's too big of a file, so uh, it just cut off. So we'll, we'll see exactly what we could do. Divine Blade. I was gonna try to maybe make it into a maybe a set collection. Hopefully, uh, we'll find out. Okay, so, 70 comments, 66 rares, maybe, I'm going to try to see if I could do full art, 24, okay, generation, maybe not, we're just going to solve these, ones. I was going to try something different, but I did see a little shiny card in here somewhere, alright, ladies and gentlemen, rip to Akora, let's see if we get something insane, like right here, what is this, oh, a stone of Akora, okay, yeah, nothing, look at this. Nothing, nothing, nothing. I mean, the hit ratio is very difficult. If this is a popular game, I, I like these type of hit ratios because you're going to keep buying and buying packs. But if it's, this is not a hit game, you can't. This this is just ridiculous. You know, getting and get crossroad deal. Uh, nothing. Alright, ladies and gen gentlemen, it's the half the last box here. The Abyss. Rip to a Korra. R.I.P. Akora. Uh, hope you guys didn't buy too much of this. Or if you guys did, um, again, I don't know if it's gonna last. I saw Kaihana there. Um, maybe they could prove me wrong, right? There's a lot of things that we're gonna talk about too about that. What's this? Sen Ku Ken. Why Sen? I don't know if it was any good, but Sen Ku Ken. All right, we got Sen Ku Ken. All right, I wanted something different, like. Mesmerizing explosion like that. There you go. Uh, you know, a mega mean explosion. Oh, Magna Tequina. All right, let's go, ladies and gentlemen. We got one more solid uh, two dollar card, ice, ice shard relic, and that is it, ladies and gentlemen. That is a core for you. 
Riptokora. Alright y'all, take care.